and you're all well. Yeah! You're right in the balcony. Hey, oh, hello, box people. Are you right? Yes. <laughs> We'd like to say hello, but we're far too exclusive. <laughs> the, um, hello to you. The, uh, fetch the butler. Fetch the butler and tell him that we're fine. The, uh, lower him down on a string. The, uh, that'd be a from more of a rope you'd need if you were gonna lower a butler from there. You'd be a fool to yourself using a string. He would either snap or it would dig into his skin. There we go. Very, oh, you're right. Oh, 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 you're just turning off your phone. Oh, no, that, sorry. I was just looking down to see a man in the front row just staring down at the floor. And I thought you had turned off your phone, but you seemed to be playing with a matchstick. <laughs> Why not? There we go. Let's not do what you want to that look, mate. Whatever you want to do, consider it your show this evening. If you want to play with a matchstick, that's entirely up to you. I feel, I feel a fool for putting on this magnificent set. <laughs> look at this. Thousands of dollars this cost me. I thought I'll have a big explosion and I'll have a fancy outfit and it'll be and I'll dance around the stage in a visual a, a treat, some kind of potpourri of visual excitement. And, and you're all there like that, just going, I got a matchstick. Fuck me. <laughs> the, uh... No, it's lovely. It's almost like you uh, You know those fellas that you see in their hobby is building famous buildings out of matchsticks, you know? Like the Taj Mahal or the, or the sort of leaning tower of Pisa or something. And it's like you've only got one matchstick and you went, oh, well, next year, you know, I'll build myself a... a what was that? Somebody like, move on, Ross. That bloke down there is the finest sculpture, matchstick sculpture in the whole of the Geelong area. <laughs> he recently built a scale model of Geelong <laughs> with all the people and everything, even those wooden ones that are carved down the sea <laughs> from there. It was an entirely accurate representation of Geelong. It even had the good guy's warehouse on the outskirts of town. Everything down, and there was a theft. There was a matchstick scale model Geelong theft, and that man was only left with one matchstick. <laughs> one matchstick was his entire life's work making a scale model of Ge and so impressive and so to scale was the model, it even had him in it looking sad. <laughs> That's the that's how to scale it was, which is mad, because why would he be in it when they'd stolen it? Why would he have put himself looking sad? Surely it would have been him going, woo I've, I've done a matchstick scale model. And then he thought, what can I do to lift my spirits after my life's work's been stolen? I don't know, I'll go and see Ross and have a right laugh. And then he'd come down to the front row. <laughs> no. There's just too many reminders. <laughs> Sorry, I've just decided the entire show is going to be about your matchstick. <laughs> I'm not bothered, Ross. Match away. The, uh, I hope that's the case. Either that or you're some kind of freaky arsonist <laughs> sitting in the front row staring at the match going, soon he will be burned. <laughs> The, uh, everyone else here for a show, you're just looking at this going, that looks highly flammable to me. <laughs> oh, <man! laughs> there we go. That's what I like to see. You know, if you're going to go to a show, why not sit in the front row and look like an arsonist? <laughs> the, um, <laughs> don't. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Sorry, that was very rude. What was your name, my friend? Craig, there, I do apologise. I didn't mean to, right at the start of the show, accusing you of looking like a criminal. Sorry about that. No, you're happy with that, aren't you? Yeah, well, I have killed many times. Anyway, the, uh, the so what, what do you do for a living, Craig, when you're not? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, just asking the question. God, you're not genuinely an arsonist. Could you imagine that if you'd just been let out of prison and I was going, hey, look at you, you crazy arsonist. And you were going, I wasn't going to reoffend, but I will now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> dousing everyone with petrol. The, um, the, uh, sorry, are you, are you okay down there? You, are you sure? No, I'm only joking. He's not really a criminal. <laughs> I've never seen anyone look more uncomfortable in my entire life. Everyone else laughing and carrying on, and you were just like this. 
It's fine, you haven't got a freaky laugh, have you? Because feel free, if you have, I'm not bothered if you or you sat there going, I'm enjoying myself and I'm finding them very funny, but I'm frightened to open my mouth in case you're going, <laughs> Like, it's, it's fine. Honestly, I'm not bothered. Let it out! That's what we're here for, it doesn't matter. You can laugh like a freak, he can burn down a local school. It doesn't matter. By the time the interval comes round, we'll be, they'll be lowering butlers off the side there. <laughs> You know, you can shout out a request for a butler and you're, I'd like a butler. Hey, could you do John Butler from the John Butler trio? That you wouldn't need string, you could lure him down by his dreadlocks, couldn't you? <laughs> like that. What an excellent service that would be. Could you lower down a crusty, please? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> oh, have I crossed the line then? <laughs> you know, uh, we don't call them crusties round here, no. They are people of uh, tangled intent. <laughs> they, um, they are personage of uh, hair dysfunction. <laughs> the, oh, sorry. The, uh, <laughs> sorry, <you> all. <laughs> anyway, what the fuck? No, are you sure? It's honestly, this, if it is freaky, just <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let it go. I'm not bothered. Honestly, the, uh, do you spittle a little bit when you laugh? <laughs> do you? No, you don't laugh through your nose, do you? Oh. Oh, you snort sometimes! <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. I knew there was something. Are oh, you one of them? Oh, yeah. oh, I love it. No, feel free. Do you do the... Or oh, do you do the... Oh, it's one of them, is it? Oh, brilliant. I look forward to a bit of piggy snorting. That would be fantastic. You know, one of my favourite ones, I like the ones where somebody's having a drink and they snort at the same time. And they do the... And they, yeah, you know? Especially if it's like red coat or like a green drink or something, and they go and it flies out like that. You know, it's like they've got a laser nose, laser nose. Oh. And, the, and then the great thing is if they, if they snort like that and they go and then and the, no, but if, and the, it all comes out like that. And if it's quite gloopy and then they, and then no, it can happen. And they do it and they go oh and they get a shock and it goes and it goes back in it. That's an act right there. You could you could go on the stage with that kind of carry on. <laughs> Welcome along to you, lovely lady. There, in you come. Where, where have you been there? Have you been hiding a scale matchstick model of Geelong? <laughs> Is that what you've been doing? Pretend no, I was at the show the whole time. There was no, I couldn't possibly have been stealing a scale model of Geelong um, out of matchsticks. No, where, where, where were you? What? You were having a chin-up? <laughs> having a chin-up? What kind of crazy Geelong carry-on is that? Oh, it's something we do here. <laughs> we wait until the streets are empty and then we just... We just put our chin-up. The uh, chin-up, Charlie. I'm doing it. <laughs> the, um, oh, you were having a what? Oh, you're having dinner? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fool to myself there. there. Anywhere nice? Was it somewhere classy? Lap or Keta? <laughs> oh, yes. No, any, anywhere nice? It, it was nice? Where, where, it took forever to come out. Oh, a bit like Elton John. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He was married for years. We all knew. We all knew. Did you not know? <laughs> yeah. He's a bit light on his feet, Elton John. Anyway... <laughs> Look at you, Lord. <laughs> you went like that. <laughs> if you're going to be surprised by me telling you Elton John's gay, <laughs> it's going to be a long old night tonight, isn't it? <laughs> you see, really? I thought he was just flamboyant. <laughs> the, um... Uh... <laughs> 